Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties online, in person, and with art kits. And today I'm going to be showing you how to paint your very own wooden earrings. And we actually have the opportunity for you to buy a kit. So if you want to do this for yourself and actually have, um, you know, Christmas presents that you can give to people, stuff like that. So go ahead, as you come on, go ahead and say hi. Let me know you're here. Um, let me see if I can see your comments. It's always good to be able to know if I can see if it's working or not. So those of you that come on and say hi, I just wanna say thank you so, so much. Cause I know there's a little bit of a delay. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing is showing you how to, um, to paint these. So let me know if you want to know a very, very simple way to paint these. Go ahead and let me know in the comments if you're wanting to. Hey guys, there's your comments. Hey Manetta, hey Carla, hey Peggy, hey Lisa, hey Gloria. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see a very, very simple way to do this. Now this is something that we are brand new releasing um, as part of um, Texas Art and Soul. So um, so if you have not ever painted, like, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I am a huge earring wearer. <laughs> like I wear earrings very, like all the time. And so what I thought would be cool is if we had a way to create art with earrings. And so I went ahead and I, I wanted to make sure it was gonna be very, very lightweight. Um, because that's one of the biggest things that I hate is heavy earrings. So this is one of the earrings and it is, it doesn't even register. It's so light. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me see if two of them will do it. Hold on. Maybe I need to set it down. Maybe that's my problem. And then I'm going to show you how to paint them. Okay. So... Two of the earrings are coming up as zero ounces. That's okay. So two pair are coming up as 0 0.2, 0 0.2 ounces. I don't know if y'all could see that. Let me turn it this way so you know. My big thing about earrings is I do not like a heavy earring. Does anybody else, are you like that? <laughs> Where you do not like a heavy earring? Okay, so 0 0.2 pounds, 0 0.02. 0 0.02 pounds for two pairs. So it's 0 0.1 pound per pair. So I'm going to show you how to quickly um, paint these. And the way I'm selling them, for those of y'all that want to do this yourself and actually like have them as a Christmas gift and send them to people, um, I'm going to sell them as a kit of six. So if you're interested, there is a link in the um, in the description that tells how you can get them. So for $64, you'll get six unpainted earrings. So they'll come like this. Let me show you what it'll come like. Six unpainted earrings with the, the gold and the, the silver hoops that go with it perfectly. And um, they are high quality metal for $64. They are not sterling silver or gold, so sorry. And then, um, and so if you have like an allergy, I recommend you get a different different type. And then what you can do is you can paint them beautifully, okay? And so $64, like if you take that, um, you're basically, it's around 10 bucks a gift. So I don't know about y'all, but I love doing um, gifts for people, like homemade gifts. And so I've already got some homemade gifts already ordered and there's some I'm creating. But for 10 bucks, you can get these little boxes. Well, $10, it would be, around your investment because it's 64 plus um, that includes shipping and then oh that was an ounce Minetta. oh crap sorry that was an ounce so like you could put the earrings in with the little stuff that you hand painted however you want in a second i'm going to show you how to hand paint it and then that could be a gift a teacher gift or whatever okay guys so i am going to show you how easy it was to paint these and how much fun it is to paint these okay all right, so what I like, and I'm trying to uh, watch your comments too. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of look at your comments while I'm painting. I have your comments over on this side. And then I'm gonna just kind of pick some colors. 
I've done, and I can show you what I've already done. So I've done some gold. And what I was going to do is paint the backs of these. And I did some ombre. And then on these right here, this gives you a lot of really fun potential because you could make it whatever you want. And just so y'all know, just a heads up, these earrings that I bought at the buckle that are very, very similar. I paid 26 bucks for these just for this, this piece right here. So it's very, very similar. So you can get all six pair for $64. So just click the link in the description. Technically leave them wooden. It's totally fine if you want to leave them wooden. Okay, so I need y'all's help here. I am going to paint an ombre. So should I do turquoise ombres or pinks ombres or pink and gold ombre? Let me know which, which route you want me to go. And then I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. And then we're just going to have some fun. I'm going to show you a very, very, very simple way to paint this. Um, Rebecca says, I'm here ready to paint and get me some earrings. Awesome ideas. I know this is like, it's like, it's like just a fun activity you can do. And see this right here? This is just scrapbooking paper. And I thought, how cute would that look with these earrings? Okay, so Caitlin says pink and gold. Oh, I like where your head's at. Okay, who else has an idea? All right, we have pink. Okay, so Manetta's wanting pink. And um, we have pink and gold. Cher's wanting pink and gold. Okay, I'm hearing y'all loud and clear. I'm just gonna use some paper. And the reason why I'm using paper, oh, Rebecca says pink, pink, pink. Oh my gosh, Sherry says pink and gold. So we are all in on that. Okay, so I'm gonna be using Royal Fuchsia and you're about to see how easy and fun this is, okay? So I'm gonna use Royal Fuchsia and 24 karat gold deco art. And then let me know if you have ever painted wooden earrings before. I'm just curious, has anybody ever done this before? Is this new to you? I know we probably all bought earrings. If you're like me, you've bought more than than you need. I'm a I'm a big earring person. So I'm when when I saw this and was like, okay, I can now paint my earrings. I was like, I've got to get in on this. <laughs> Art Project Plus earrings have got to do this. Okay, so I'm going ahead um, and just dabbing with a dauber. Okay, so this is like a, a um Martha Stewart dauber, but you can use, you know, makeup sponge, whatever. But I'm just doing this and then I'm taking a lot of it off. I'm offloading, offloading. And then as Victoria would say, and then I'm just up and down. Okay, up and down. So I'm getting the paint on there and then I'm dabbing most of it off. Oh, uh, Marianne, those of y'all that are just joining, you can get these to paint um, on the description there is a link where you can um, purchase them so i'm selling them unpainted so that you can do your own okay so i'm just going up and down like that now i'm going to do is just wipe this off a little bit go into the gold dab the gold off a little bit and then i'm just going to turn them and go up and down with the gold get a little bit more up and down with the gold and this is where I like to leave the sides wooden so you can see they can they can technically be reversible whoa I did gold on that one like the opposite isn't that cool <laughs> that's really cool and then that is it okay so that's that one now we have this pair here that I did solid gold because y'all know I love some 24 karat gold and then all you do is turn them over. You could leave them wooden if you wanted a wooden look, but I'm going to show you again how easy it is to paint these however you want, okay? And then in a minute, I'm going to show you some cool stuff that you can do on this one. So on this one, let's see. I'm thinking we have gold on this side, so we don't need to do gold. What do y'all think? Should we leave them wooden or should we, should we go kind of bold with them? Should we do some turquoise? What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Rebecca says, so rad. I know, they're so pretty. Who's going to order some today? I mean, I love these. Look at how they turn out. 
I mean, you could even, if you have like an earring lover in your family, you could like paint them all for them and have this really, really cool um, way to give them, you know, all of them at once. Um, but what I would recommend is like having them, then you could do teacher gifts. You could do, um, you could do, you know, family members that love earrings, things like that. You could do whatever. Okay, so we have go bold. We have green, silver, or white. Oh, nice. Ooh, white would be pretty cool, huh? White or black. I think black would be pretty. Purple and silver. I, oh, and you could make these almost like you're, if you're into football, and um, you could make these your football, kind of football um, stuff like that too. Okay, let's go purple. Let's go with some metallic, metallic type purple. Y'all, and this is an easy way I've been doing this lately because I have lost my paper plates and I have not gotten any paper plates recently. So just from the dollar store, I just got this paper and then I'm just able to grab it. So this is a metallic berry. And then I'm going to use a little bit of, actually, I want to use um, another metallic. I got to shake it up called amethyst. Okay. All right, so we'll see what happens here. So I'm going to take it, dab it, and then I'm going to dab it off. That has a lot of um, blue in it. I might have to go back to this one. There we go. That was a lavender. So when you order these, you can always come back to this Facebook Live. And if you're like, oh, I wasn't sure what she used or what color, and I really wanted mine to look like this or that, you could always come back to the Facebook Live and check it out. Okay, awesome. Ooh, I like that. What do y'all think? Okay, so that was the metallic berry. I'm dabbing it off. And this is a fun project you could order, and then you could go ahead and just you know, watch a Hallmark movie, paint some earrings, have something cute to give. Um, I always love it whenever I find like the perfect gift for somebody. You know who's hard? Bobby is so hard to buy for. And I know he's not going to want these earrings. <laughs> he's not going to want this. <laughs> okay, so now I have some purple. And then if I want to get a different, I mean, it's a reversible, which is really cool. The other thing too is the hoops that I'll send you with it. You just move them so they can totally be reversible as well. Okay. All right. So now um, we'll do this set. Oh, we already did that set. Now we'll do this set. So I already have them as a ombre turquoise. So here I could either leave them wooden or, oh, neon. Coming in late, where to order? Tracy, you can click the link in the description and it's $64, include shipping in the United States and you're gonna get all, um, oh, thank you for sending stars, that's so sweet. Um, you can get all um, six of them, they'll be shipped to you and then you're gonna get all the hoops so they're ready to go. And then what I recommend is you just go to Michael's, oh man, don't do what I did, I just, grab that and put it in there. Go to Michael's and get one of these, those little boxes. They sell them in like six or eight. And then you could put your earrings in here and they could be teacher gifts or, you know, family gifts or secret Santa gifts, whatever you want. So really, really easy, fun idea. Plus you get to be creative. Okay. So somebody said bright and happy. Somebody said neon. Um, I didn't even think about it, but you could probably use just um, paint pens too, if you wanted. Okay, so let's get bright and happy here. Let's see. Let me see what I want to do. Oh, I'm excited. Let's see. The dark blue on the paper and the gold, they remind me of peacock feathers. Oh, that would be good. This and gold. We could try that. Let me try that. Okay, so I'm gonna take, and that was Tracy's idea. So let's try this dark blue. I'm going to wipe some of this off. Okay. 
have y'all been watching some of my other other videos this week and um, this week it just seems like there's been all kinds of new paintings coming to me <laughs> so i've been painting away if you haven't seen some of the new videos make sure you go back and watch the past couple days we did a couple of different different paint oh that looks kind of cool with just the wood doesn't it what do y'all think about maybe leaving the wood that's really pretty let's see what it looks like with just a a hint of gold coming up the side what i love about this is i'm literally just using a stencil a stencil bobber Oh, that's pretty awesome. Let me go back to that blue a little bit. Hey, Angie, thanks for saying hi when you come on. I hope you are having a great day. I have been having fun painting and working on some computer stuff. Just all kinds of fun stuff. Um, let's see. Where is that color of the blue? Where did I go? Oh, here it is. It doesn't look like blue. Oh, thanks, Melissa. Thanks, Tracy. Um, yeah, it, it says it's amethyst. Well, it's amethyst. So it kind of has a, a bluish purple. I guess more purple then. And then you can always go back if you if you don't like what you did, you can always go back and add a little bit more. Okay. All right. Oh, I love I am loving these so much. I'm going to have to wear those. Okay. And so now these I did kind of pink, purple, and blue, but I think on this side, I'm going to leave them wooden. I really, really like the, the look of the wood on this one. So I'm going to leave those alone. So those are going to be, um, totally done. And these can be reversible. So again, remember, like if you wanted one side, something you could do reversible. And then now we have the flower ones. And then I'm going to show you something special with these that you can do. And um, it's super easy and fun. And then um, make sure, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Add a little green. Um, make sure that if you're wanting these, go ahead and order. We're only going to have them up for a couple of weeks. And then um, that way we can get them shipped to you in time so you can make them for Christmas presents. So we don't want to keep it going for a long time because we want you to have time for, for Christmas presents. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of green to this. So it looks like a peacock feather. And I want the, the wood to stay. Nothing like finger painting, right? A little bit of green in there. I think I need to go over it just a little bit. What are you using to put paint on? Oh, it's just uh, Martha Stewart daubers that you can get from Michaels. You can use any kind. You can use a makeup sponge from the dollar store. Um, you can use pretty much any kind you have. Okay. All right. So we got that one going. Yeah, this is like a, a Martha Stewart just dauber um but again i just get it at michael's so you can you can grab a makeup sponge you can grab whatever and then i'm just using dollar store paper <laughs> for this because i need to get some more um some more plates okay so this one i did super simple i painted it just with gold and that's it and um, this side, I'm actually going to leave it wooden because, again, I'm in love with the wood part, too. So what I recommend is when you buy these, what I recommend is that you um, you paint one side of them, but leave the other side that kind of has the burnt look on it. 
leave it alone because I think you're going to have so much um, really cool look for the wooden part. Okay, so let me show you the last pair. Now, this pair is just basically a blank canvas. So you can literally do whatever you want. So again, you could paint a whole scene on here. You can make it Christmassy. You could do whatever you want. You can paint a snowman, all kinds of fun stuff. But I want to show you a very, very, very simple way to make something happen on here, okay? So you could go crazy, have a full on scene, or all you have to do is get your pouncer, and I'm gonna go with pink, and I'm just gonna dab it on there. Okay, just get my pink on there and dab it, kind of leaving a little bit of the background showing. We don't want it totally, totally covered. We want some of that, that wood to show through. And then here is something really cool you can do. Oh, Marilyn says she loves doing wooden earrings. Yeah, they are so much fun. Oh my gosh, so much fun. Okay, so now on this, what you can do is you can take a stencil. This is just a, a stencil from Amazon, but you can get a stencil from anywhere. Michael's, Hobby Lobby, wherever. And then what I'm going to do is just, I can actually place it. I'm going to do a different one because on this side I have in the center like that. But what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to turn it over and just kind of have some fun with it. Yeah, there we go. I want to do this. So you just want to find where you want to place it. And then you're going to use a, a dauber again and just pick a color that will go well. So I'm just going to grab, let's see, the gold. It's right here. And then dab some of it off. And then you just have to be careful and hold on to it, okay? It might have been really cool with some black, too, like hot pink and black. That would have been pretty neat. But that's the cool thing, like if you're, if you lift it up and you're like, eh, not real sure, you could just get, like, keep it there and go over it. Okay? Oh, wow, that's pretty. Do y'all like that? A little bit of a artsy twist to it. Oh, thank you for sending the stars, Marilyn. Y'all are so sweet. Oh, you've done them with cardstock, too? What a great idea. Yeah, and these wooden earrings are so, so much fun. I could see where you could totally make them with card sock. I know people have made, um, like, earrings with Palmer clay. Stuff like that is really fun. Um, there's just so many possibilities for sure. So, yeah, so I wanted to give you all a chance. If you want to order, um, just go to the link in the description. You can go ahead and get your order, and we'll have it out. Um, we're looking at about two to two and a half weeks where with the postal service, we want um, to just, you know, make sure that we have plenty of time to, to get what we need and have it sent to you. So when you order, what you're going to get is six of the unpainted because we want you to have fun painting them however you want. Okay. So you're going to get all six of these. Oh, I love how that turned out. Okay. So now... I have basically 12 pairs of earrings because if I turn them over, I have a whole different look. Isn't that cool? So I can turn them over and now I have a different pair. So you could technically have 12 different pairs of earrings all in the same thing. And then whenever you order, you'll also get the hoops that go with it. So um, let me know if you enjoyed this project. Um, the link is in the description and we'll make sure. But this is kind of what it looks like with them done on one side. And um, this is how you will receive it, okay? So you're gonna receive it with all of the six that you see here, the six pairs with the loops that go with it. So you'll get, um, you'll get three, we'll try to give you three of the, the gold loops and three of the three sets of the silver loops. And then um, you can reverse them. So these are totally reversible. And then, of course, um, for Christmas presents, you could totally use it and make it look really, really cute for a Christmas gift. So anyway, it's $64 for all six pairs. 
Um, and just to give you um, a context, I spent $24 just for this wooden pair at the buckle. Very, very, very similar, <laughs> similar hook, very similar wood piece, all of that that, um, that I spent at the buckle for $26 for one. So it's $64 and includes shipping. And um, we'll get it to you within around two and a half to three weeks top. So um, all you have to do is click the link in the description to order. And then let me know if you like this, if you're like Heidi, don't paint wooden earrings. We don't want to see that crap. Could you just go back to painting canvas or wood pieces? So <laughs> let me know. I need to hear your feedback so I know if you like this or not. So I just thought it'd be something new, something creative and interesting um, that y'all could try out and maybe have for a Christmas gift, okay? All right, guys. I hope that y'all have um, such a good day. Thank y'all so much for all of the different, um, different, you know, post on here in the comments and I'll go back to you and check those out as well. So I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye guys.